On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple DIY block to go under your jack. All this takes is some simple materials. You're gonna need about a 10 foot piece of two before, some four inch outdoor exterior screws, and then an old nylon belt to make a little handle with. And that is all you need. Guys, if you like these simple DIY builds like this, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into this video. All right, so I went ahead and did all the sawing beforehand so you guys didn't have to watch me uh, go through all the work of doing that. But essentially I took about a 10 foot section of two by four and cut them into eight inch sections here. And I like a pretty tall block to go under my jack. So, you know, I've opted for it to be about seven and a half inches tall, almost eight, I think. Yeah, it's about seven and a half inches tall. And that gets me where I need to be. But if you want a shorter block, I mean, just take away, you know, the top ones or whatever. But I know a lot of people are gonna say, why don't you have a solid piece on top and the bottom? Well guys, it's because this one's gonna be the most simple out there. So if you don't wanna go out and buy two by 10 or something like that, then this is gonna be for you because a lot of people have two befores laying around the house. They want a simple block to go under their jack. They don't wanna spend no extra money. So this is still gonna get the job done. I mean, honestly, it's got some open sections on the top and bottom but if you have a circular piece on your jack then it's going to distribute the weight out anyway so honestly you know unless you have a super heavy trailer which if you have an extremely heavy trailer which has you know like an upwards of a thousand pound tongue weight or something i put i would not suggest this but most trailers that have you know anywhere from three to six hundred pound tongue weight this is going to work perfect for because in the real scheme of thing, that is not that much weight when you're putting it on two befores. All right, let's dive into showing you how to go about doing this. All right, so I have everything kind of just stacked up here. And I mean, it don't take rocket science. I'm not gonna explain, you know, how it's stacked. I mean, obviously you can look, I just have them running crisscrossed. And I tried to get them as close as possible to be in eight inches in length a piece uh, but this is going to be a big enough block for me. I mean, my jack has that circular piece. And it's probably about this round. So it's still going to have plenty of stabilization when it comes to being on the block itself. I mean, the block I have now is even smaller than this, and it does a great job. But I wanted to show you guys how to make an even simpler style block to go into your jack. So, all right, we're going to dive into showing you how to screw this down and how I go about putting those four-inch screws into this. All right, for the four inch screws, I went to Walmart and just picked these up. I think they were around $6, maybe a little over, but all it is is some exterior four inch wood screws. All right, here they are. So, I mean, it came with 47 of these. I mean, it's a pretty good deal for what you get. I mean, I, I do a lot of outdoor projects, so this is gonna be perfect. And we're just gonna use these to sink down through. And you can see how far that goes down into it. So what we're gonna do is screw in probably four, we'll do two on this side, two on this side, two, two. And what that's gonna do is you can see it goes halfway down through. And we're gonna secure pretty much the top three pieces. And then we're gonna flip the box, then we're gonna flip the block over and then sink them through the back side here. So that's gonna hold it all together. So it's gonna work out perfect. These go completely through the center. So it's gonna be nice and secure. Lined up the best I can, then we're gonna drill some pilot holes. That way we don't split the wood anywhere. All right. How I staggered that across. Go ahead and get... All 
All right, so there's half of it. We're gonna go ahead, flip it over, and we're gonna do the other side the same exact way. I'll catch back up to you after we get the bottom part put back on. All right, so we get the block finished. There's the finished product, nice little handle. And all I did for the handle is just take some little washers and just a little wood screw and that nylon belt. And that's all it took. Nice little handle there. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and use this. So simple DIY build that you can do for probably less than six bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this under the jack.